Hey guys, today is March the 15th, five more days till spring, and five more days till, I believe it's a total uh, eclipse of the sun, is on the 20th. Uh, so anyway, here is clover sprouts, and these are three days old little clover sprouts. And I have started these with LP in mind because he's had so much uh, trouble with inflammation. So he's got a, a really pain in his upper legs. Uh, that may be inflammation in his upper leg. So uh, this is supposed to be good for that. I used the sal the um, uh, the sprout, and I have a lot of seeds that didn't uh, take in um, sprout. So I may try planting those so that I don't lose them because that just seems like a lot of wasted seed there. But I don't know whether they're going to do anything. But I might give that a try. So there is the pea sprouts. Uh, this is five days for those, and we've eaten we've eaten a, a few days on those. And their areas, it, it, they have some green uh, coming on those in five days. And here's the garbanzo beans or the chickpeas. Have a nice uh, little sprout on those. Oh, there's the clover seeds that weren't doing too well in the bottom of the sprouter. I'm going to try about a fourth of a cup of unsoaked clover uh, seed to finish out this tray. And there's some water that I, I saved the water from when I rinsed the seeds. So that's what that is for uh, adding a little extra nourishment uh, to my wheatgrass. Okay, I'm just going to cover up these babies. And I'm going to water them first and cover them and they'll be good to go hopefully. Uh, one thing I just wanted to mention about the wee little seeds like the clover seeds, millet seeds, uh, quinoa, um, they are really a very fragile looking little um, sprout when they come up and you don't want to weight those down. Now I'm just going to sit this on top of it. I've watered it good, I've covered up the seeds. And I'm just going to sit that on top of there. I'm not going to weight it down. I'm not going to put dirt in this. But, um, but like wheatgrass, uh, wheatgrass supposedly, if you had time to just stand on it till it grew, um, it is so strong that it would actually lift you up. Uh, so you weight it down. So um, I, whenever I start out the wheatgrass, I'll have the dirt in uh, in it. To weight it, a uh, dirt in another pan on top of here to weight it down, and then whenever it starts to push it up, the uh, the dirt and the pan, then you take it off. Um, so I've been using the water from the seeds that I soaked on this, and it's really looking good. It's really looking healthy. So that might have just given a little bit of extra um, nutrition in there. Uh, so, um, I learned the hard way about the wee little seeds and the wee little tender, um, like the quinoa, and I tried to weight it down. Now, the sunflower seeds and the wheatgrass, those need the, the weight on them. They're much stronger. Uh, so, as time progresses, I'll have a little more idea of which ones that can be weighted down and which ones can't. But I suspect any of these little tiny seeds, like the quinoa and the millet and the clover, uh, you don't want to weight them down. You just want to have the pan empty, uh, no, no dirt, no extra weight other than just a lightweight pan on top like I have it. 